My name is Nancy Alderman, and I'm president of Environment and Human Health, Inc. It's a group of nine physicians and public health professionals that look at where the environment is harming human health. One of the issues that we've been involved in in the last two years is grinding up rubber tires into small pieces and either putting them on synthetic turf playgrounds where children play or putting them uh, even as garden mulch or as the bottom of uh, playscapes. You will see in this very uh, good playscape that we are on, you will see that this playscape has sand, which is what is healthy and economic, economical as well, but it's also very healthy for children. But what is being uh, pushed is uh, rubber, uh, ground up rubber tires and actually the Obamas who have just put in a playscape into the White House. Uh, if you go and look at that playscape, which is a beautiful playscape, they have rubber tire mulch underneath uh, that playscape. Why is that a problem? It's a problem for many reasons. Number one, ground up rubber tires have lots of toxins in them. They have uh, toxins that are skin and eye irritants. They have toxins that are actually carcinogenic. And they have toxins, uh, they have too much zinc. It takes a lot of zinc uh, to make a rubber tire. And so uh, for, for uh, plants, if you use it uh, in your garden, you will find that you will actually stunt the growth of plants. Also, the groundwater uh, will uh, get contaminated from the toxins that are uh, in the uh, tires. But we're most concerned that uh, the White House has put in this ground up, even though it's dyed green and it looks lovely, it is ground up rubber tires with all its toxins uh, and all its problems. On top of that, um, the rubber tires, even if it's dyed, they get extremely hot. So they've been measured at 161 degrees when it's 90 degrees out. That's very difficult for children very, very difficult. And Washington is a very hot city. And so of all places, they should not uh, have ground up rubber tires in that playscape. And we hope uh, that the Obamas will uh, learn of this and remove, uh, remove those rubber tires and put down something as good as what they have here at this uh, wonderful school playground, which is what they have is just play sand, which is very healthy. Now, to talk a little bit about where these rubber tires are coming from, they're simply coming from cars. They're coming from uh, used tires that are no longer good, uh, taken off of cars and put in huge uh, piles and then taken off to a plant where they are shredded in three different sizes. One size, very, very small for the infill of synthetic turf fields. Uh, and then another size for playscapes and another size for a garden mulch. So all these are, no matter what color they dye them or no matter what they call them, these are ground up rubber tires uh, with all their problems. Now tires have for, uh, for years have been a hazardous waste in most states. Some states they are a special waste. But regardless of whether they are categorized as a special waste or a hazardous waste, you need a permit to get rid of them because of all their inherent problems. Well, one can be amazed and you can imagine how pleased industry is from taking what costs them a lot of money to dispose of. Now they're grinding them up and, and making a tremendous amount of money, but at whose expense? children's expense and for some who are unknowingly spreading it in their gardens um, at the soil's expense because they contaminate soil and have the potential for contaminating uh, groundwater which is you know a serious serious problem so um, anyway uh, it is good to look at you know cars and think about how many tires uh, in this country do we dispose of every year? It's millions, it's millions. And all of a sudden to turn that liability into a profit-making industry for these companies 
um, you know, the profit margin or, or the profit incentive is very, very large, and it's pushing, it's pushing this entire industry along as well. Uh, EPA uh, is, is sort of our government agency in charge of rubber tires and how to dispose of them. And so for them, it's a way out as well. Um, and, and so we really, really need to look at this as a country. Uh, and, and, you know, if it could get into the Obama's backyard that care so much about their children and their children's health, look where it can go. Look where it can go. And I think that's it.